the Calpon Bla place actually normally serves some other dishes I was interested in like clay pot goose but that is already sold out instead we're having a traditional bowl of uh, rice porridge and and steamed fish if you recognize the place behind me it's from the video I just posted recently we're back here of course I didn't get my goose the other day I came here intentionally for the goose the goose section is actually the part of the restaurant where you have to sit in the open air so what a lot of people do is they'll go to the Calthone place behind me and they'll order from this place too so they have uh, some interesting stir fries they have a lot of goose if you come here during lunch it's pretty busy and you see like an assembly line of people actually uh, making the dishes and putting them together. I'll show you a little bit of what they have to offer today. Just gonna be a short video, but you can check this place out if you feel like coming to this neighborhood of uh, Patanakarn. It's, it's, this is the kind of place that would normally be in Chinatown, but it is way out here on kind of the outskirts of Bangkok and you don't really see anyone besides locals talking about it or eating here. So I hope you enjoy this tip and I uh, can actually check this place out if you're if you're visiting this part of Thailand for some reason. We've got the basically the meat of the goose and it's in a palo sauce. Palo is just the Chinese five spice sauce. This is served with a, with a vinegary sauce that's full of uh, garlic and ginger. I'm not really a fan of the sauce. I think the meat has a great texture. It's, it's kind of fatty. It's, it's a little bit sweet from the way it's been braised. And I think the closest comparison would probably be to, to duck, if you've, had, if you've had duck before. We've also ordered a plate of jop chai. Jop chai is like the Chinese version of collard greens almost. It's a, it's a very thick leafy vegetable that has been, has been boiled and you serve it up with some mushrooms. This version also has braised pork ribs inside. Um, actually it's a lot of, it's a lot of the jap chai and not much ribs so don't order it for that but if you do like the flavor of this, it's like a salty savory flavor. If you like that flavor then you will, you will probably like this dish and it's pretty much the only vegetables on the menu for the most part. Finally, the dish that I've had my heart set on the most is actually this dish of goose legs covered in, covered in noodles. So I'm gonna scoop up a little bit of that and let you have a look. I just finished that great meal of uh, goose feet and some other tasty, really tasty dishes. The feet themselves have a real strong ginger and especially like a cinnamon and anise type flavor. Very typical Chinese flavors. A great place. They get so much business. There's a constant stream of cars coming in and out. So it is a popular place at lunchtime, especially it's busy and loud and there's a lot of action, action happening here. I do recommend this even if, uh, even if the feet themselves look a little unappetizing to you, you may want to try it and especially if you do love that kind of gelatinous, uh, even a little bit slimy kind of feet texture that you get from like chicken feet, you will love this because really the attraction to goose is that the feet themselves are probably about twice the size and you've got all that webby texture that has that just soaked up the ginger and the garlic and everything that's at the bottom of that pot. I think the way that they cook it is they put all the spices, the peppercorns, the, uh, the peppercorn, the ginger and everything at the bottom and they let that cook and steam and, and just kind of bake into there for a while and then they throw the goose feet and everything on top and then put that back on the fire. Even this fat slice of pork belly that's inside of there, everything has really given its flavor away to the goose and the noodles that are on top. I will say that you may be tempted to only order this since it's, since it's pricey, it's about 350 baht, I believe. You may be tempted to only order that, but if you eat it on its own, it is a little oily. So, and also the noodles can be a little dry. Just a quick update, had to come back here, missed the goose the other day, but also hope you enjoy the other video about the fish that's available at there at the same restaurant just 
across the little lanes of the parking lot. This dish for the the roasted goose legs is a, is about 350 baht. Also keep in mind that goose is not very easy to find, so it is pretty much a specialty street food shop. You can find all the details, including a map to the Google location in the description box. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll be back with some more street food soon.